Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well. Here we have a problem. Uh, the problem states that uh, the curved rod lies in the xy plane and has a radius of 3 meters. If a force of F equals to 80 newtons, x at its ends as shown, determine the moment of this force about point P. Okay. So, if you look at this problem, th this problem is not a, a, a straight rectangular uh, basically a rod. This rod is basically being curved and is being lying in a coplanar plane which is an xy plane and uh, on point A there is a force of F equals to 80 newtons. But be very careful, this force is not in Cartesian vector form, it is in the scalar form. So, you need to convert this force into the Cartesian vector form from the scalar. Okay, so we need to basically calculate uh, uh, the moment of this force. Okay, this force, which is uh, force CA, this force CA, we need to calculate the moment of this force about this unique point, which is uh, almost at the mid of this rod. This point, you need to calculate the moment of this force about this. So, we can say that uh, uh, the moment can be RBA, RBA cross this force F. So, R B A cross F. Okay. So, first word of all we know what we are going to do is this is our origin. This is our origin and uh, the coordinates of the origin are 0, 0, 0. What will be the coordinates of this point A? Okay. So, from here from the origin we start uh, from on the x axis this is 3 and on the y axis is also 3. Now we also need to calculate uh, the coordinates of this point B. B is a very unique point, okay. It is lying almost at the mid of this rod. So if you look uh, for the coordinates of B, the x axis, uh, the x coordinate, sorry, will be uh, calculated as this distance from here to here is 3 meters. And we need to calculate the distance from uh, basically, we calculate this distance, okay. From this B, if you look at it, this is the horizontal x. So, we can say that uh, if you can say very easily just to make it uh, we need to calculate uh, this small distance we need to calculate from b we need to calculate this distance okay with this distance so it will be 3 meters min minus this is 3 and this is 45 so it will be 3 minus 3 cos 45 will be this distance okay so this is 3 minus this is 3 minus 3 cos 45 and uh, what about the y coordinate of this it will be simply this distance this is 3 meters this is 45 degrees so it will be 3 sin 45 and the z will be 0. So, it will be A, B, what will be the coordinate for C? If you from the origin, if you move, it will be 3 plus 1, 4. On the y axis, it isn't moving. On the z axis, from the top plane, it is minus 2. Okay. So, this is being done. Now, what we need to do is basically, once this is being done, now we need to calculate the uh, RCA because uh, our target is basically force is 80 Newton to convert this 80 Newton force into the Cartesian vector form. What are we going to do is basically we are going to take the position vector on this R uh, axis CA okay, and divide it by its magnitude. So, the coordinate of uh, C is basically 402 and the coordinates for A is 330. So, it will be coordinates of C minus the coordinates of A. So, it will be 4 minus 3i, uh, 0 minus 3j and minus 2 minus 0k. So, if we take uh, it will be 1i minus 3j minus 2k and the mod of RCA will be 1 the whole square plus minus 3 the whole square minus 2 the whole square. So, the mod of RCA comes out to be equals to square root of 14 plus to 3.742 meter. Another very important distance. Uh, position vector will be RBA. Okay, RBA will be again the coordinates of B. You need to subtract from the coordinates of B. You need to subtract coordinates of A. So it will be basically three minus three cos forty-five minus three. 
and uh, the y coordinate will be again 3 sin 45 uh, minus 3 and uh, it will be 0 minus 0 into 0 k. So, if you simplify it, your RBA will be equals to minus 2.12i minus 0.8786 j and 0 k. So, now we need to convert this force 80 Newton into Cartesian. It will be 80 Newton, which is the magnitude given here and you multiply it with the position vector RCA and you divide it by the mod of this position vector RCA. So, it will be 80. What was position vector RCA? It was 1i minus 3j minus 2k. So, it will be 1i minus 3j minus 2k and what was mod of RCA? Mod of RCA was square root of 14. So, you simplify you will get this uh, force in Cartesian form, uh, form as 21.38i minus 64.16j minus 46.42.64k. Okay, so you've done this. Now you have uh, everything uh, well planned. Now your force is in Cartesian vector form. You have calculated position vector RBA. You have calculated this and you have con converted the force into Cartesian vector form. Now you can simply uh, take moment about V will be equals to RBA cross F. Uh, this is your RBA and this is your F. So again, IJK, you take the determinant, you solve this determinant, IJK, uh, moment about B equals to determinant IJK, this is RBA, minus 2.12, minus 0.8786J, and this is 0K. This is our force in Cartesian vector form, 21.38, minus 64.16, minus 42.64, and you basically simplify the determinant, either through a calculator or manually you will get uh, mb equals to 37.46i minus 90.4j plus 154.8k. So, this is the moment about b after you calculating position vector rba cross vector f. Another way you can also calculate the same result is if you take moment about b and instead of ba, instead of taking ba, you have also have the right to take bc because remember a and c are both the points so, the force is starting at, at A and is ending at C. So, you can also take RBC cross F and you simplify it, you will still get the same and correct answer. Uh, the determinant will be different, but when you calculate it, your answer will be exactly the same. So, it is your choice either you take RBC or you take RBA. So, hope uh, uh, it is a different problem, a more uh, con conceptual, uh, it will increase your concept by how to tackle curved routes. Uh, and I hope you understand the concepts really well. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much, and uh, you have a very good day. Thanks.